Welcome back to another episode on the Zero Take server. This is episode 14. Now since I saw you last here, I decided to take and I did a mining run. So let me show you my spoils. So I'm pretty happy with it. I went over into a mesa that's far away from here. It's actually kind of near Mimpa's industrial district. So I'm pretty happy with this. We got quite a bit of gold, which um, which I need. I want to make some golden apples, so I need lots of gold for that. And then we got almost four stacks of rail, plus these extra ones. I found some more of the gems. I found 19 diamond ore. That's sweet. So I'm going to take and break that down and see how many diamonds we get out of that. Plus a stack and a half of redstone, some lapis, all kinds of good stuff. So yeah, I was pretty thrilled with this. So let us... Put my stuff back on. Let's see what we can get out of uh, out of these. Let's break them down and see what happens. Alright, let's see what we got. Not bad. We ended up getting 38 diamonds out of that, plus almost three and a half stacks of lapis and holy redstone dust. We've got nine row to nine stacks plus a little bit of redstone dust. Woohoo! That'll help the cause. Awesome. So now for this episode, I plan on doing a little bit of holiday decorating now that um, for those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is now over. Um, so now I want to kind of get into the winter feel here in this base. So I've already got a couple things started. I'm not going to give away any spoilers, uh, at least not just yet. So I've got some things started. But yeah, so I need to figure out how I want to decorate this. So I'm going to need mm, lots of ferns, I think, and probably some leaves. Uh, we've got plenty of poppies, so, because mm, this looks just like a poinsettia. See? Poinsettia. It's not a poppy, it's a poinsettia. There you go. Okay. Uh, first decoration up. Woohoo! So let me kind of get some thoughts together on that, gather up some materials. I'm going to keep, I'm going to put all of our goodies away, and um, I'll check back with you in just a little bit. I have been busy decorating the base. Plus, uh, I have a little surprise. I found a cool little Christmas texture pack. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I found it on Planet Minecraft and it adds some really nifty little details to the game. So this, this is fun. I mean, this is all just client side, but it's really fun. Let me bring you inside and I'll show you what I've been up to as far as the decorating is concerned. So look at that! We've got blinky lights, and we've got garland, and we've got poinsettias. This is a fun little texture pack. I love it. And I'm sure you're familiar with that. I think that's something that... Isn't that something that Mojang does? Turning all chests into gifts. So yeah, all decorated. We got the little mini mini decorated tree. Got wreaths and holly on all the doors. Shulker boxes. Now it's very appropriate that these shulker boxes look like presents because that's what these are. I'm not going to open them. I've already stocked them. They're completely full. I mean, not with full stacks, but. They, there is an item in every single slot in all three of these shulker boxes, and they are presents. Um, so yay! Very exciting. And then off out here, we have ourselves a little holiday tree. Both of the blinky lights and the ornaments. We're just missing the star. Yeah, the star. I have an idea for the star. So we got little snowmen out there. 
Um, the star. Yeah. Um, I need to go get some wither skeleton heads. See where I'm going with this? I think a certain star would be perfect for the top of that tree. Alright, so I'm going to gather up what I need to. I'm going to head to the nether and I'll do a time lapse of me killing a bunch of those wither skeletons so that I can get their skulls. So with that, I will see you all after the time lapse. I am back. Unfortunately, I forgot to hit record for two of the three wither fights, but um, at least I got the one recorded. I mean, it was pretty much the same thing, just you know, two other times. I mean, it really wasn't very exciting. Um, so I've got one extra wither skeleton skull, and I've got the three nether stars. So that is flipping awesome. So, because I have an idea then for the next bit of decorating that I want to do. So first of all, we have to finish off this holiday tree out front. But let's sleep quick because we've got we've got a visitor back there. It looks like we've got at least a spider and probably a zombie. And it is now a bright, beautiful morning. The bad, hostile mobs are burning in the daylight sun. It's just about time to head out there and put the final touch on that tree. All right, sneak on over there. Star, and voila, final touch. There we go. Let's see how it looks from a distance. I hope it looks okay. I, I, I In my head it was gonna look good. It is so tiny. Oh no, oh no, it's so little. <laughs> it's a little tiny star. <laughs> um, I don't know if that works. The, the proportions are way wrong. But it's so shiny. Oh, look at the shine. It's so shiny. Maybe I'll leave it. I don't know. I've got to think about that now. That really is not the right size. Uh, bummer. I got to think about that. Uh, uh, anyway, onwards. Next project. Um, so, yeah. Let's make some banners. And then we can go and do the next bit of decorating over at my shop. Um, Mimpa's in my shop over at the shopping district at Spawn. Um, but I've been telling you folks that there's a certain banner pattern that I really like for the holidays. And I need this in order to make it. Because I don't believe I have that pattern yet. Oh, but I do. I do have the skull charge. That's the same one. I think that's the one I need. So maybe I don't need this extra head. Awesome. All right. Well, let me let me see. I got to figure out what kind of banner I need for my base, and I got to collect some wool. Um, so let me get us prepped for this, and then uh, and then I can show you guys my favorite holiday banner. I have a problem. So I was busy getting together everything I needed to make that banner. I have the light gray banner, I've got light gray dye, I've got the skull charge pattern, I've got a flower charge pattern because I need both of those for it. I've got a bunch of wool that I went and you know harvested. 
so I can make spare banners. Um, I've got red dye and yellow dye and green dye, which I also need for it. And then I double checked the pattern. I need a creeper head. I need the creeper banner pattern. Um, of all the heads that have been dropping, that I've been, you know, getting, I keep them all up here. Let me show you. I have quite the collection now. Hostile mob heads. Yeah, we've got quite the collection of heads. Strays and drowns and zombie nitwits and, you know, blazes and I even got some elder guardian heads. Um, no creepers. Not one creeper head has dropped. Um, yeah, I'll explain this charged creeper head. I'll explain that. So, I talked to... Oh, I've got to sleep because I've, uh, I've got phantoms after me. So I was running it past Mimpa, and he suggested that if I get a charged creeper, then I should be able to get a head. Well, I had no way of getting a charged creeper, because you can do that with the trident. So I spent a long time, uh, I don't even know how, an hour, maybe longer, swimming in an ocean, fighting drowns, until I got a trident. And then I had to get everything I needed to do all these enchantments on it. So I did that. Well, now I had to wait for a rainstorm. Not just any rainstorm, but a thunderstorm. Do you know how infrequently those are? Ah, so I finally had one. One thunderstorm. And I'm using the trident, and I'm getting those charged creepers, and I'm killing them without them blowing up. And I got the charged creeper heads. And I tried to use the charged creeper head to make my banner pattern, which doesn't work, because you need a regular creeper head. Hey, Mimpa. He's like, will you use the charged creeper to blow up a regular creeper, and then you get the head. Oh, bugger. Oh. So guess what? I haven't been able to make the banner pattern, because, to show you guys that, because I can't get a creeper head. And it has not rained. I have not had a thunderstorm in the game since I've been... Well, granted, I've had some in real life stuff crop up again, because, you know, work. Uh, no, no, sunny skies. Beautiful sunny skies here in the snowy landscape. Not one thunderstorm. <sighs> so I decided that while I wait for a thunderstorm, I'm going to chop trees. So I've been chopping lots of trees. Lots of trees. And I decided that I was going to try to get a uh, music disc. Uh, an old versions of Minecraft. I haven't tried it now in quite a long time. I mean, a long, long time. If you could get a skeleton to kill a creeper, the creeper would drop a music disc. So I figured I'd try that while I waited for a thunderstorm, because, well, why not? It's something to do. So I've kind of got this. I, I don't, I've got to get the creeper and the skeleton in here. And then, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> But just something to kind of, while I wait for a thunderstorm, because I, I want a thunderstorm. I like thunderstorms, but it's so sunny and beautiful in the Minecraft world when all I need is a bit of rain and, and thunder and lightning so I can try it at the creepers. <laughs> so that's been a big hiccup on this episode. I was really hoping that I would have this done as of a week ago. And I'm now a week behind because I can't get a flipping creeper head. So I apologize that this video is way late. Oh, but anyway, so I am going to wait until nighttime and then let's we'll see if we can't trap ourselves a couple couple guys in here while I wait for a thunderstorm. I, I've got a creeper trapped. It is snowing, but I don't hear thunder yet. Let's see how this goes. All right. All right, as worst case scenario, we do our creeper thing if it starts to thunder. Because I don't think... Let's try this. Nope, it's not thundering out, it's just rain. I was going to get a skeleton and get him in here so I could do the whole creeper thing, but now that it's raining, well, snowing, I might want to wait, because if I can get a second creeper in there, that would be the way to do it. Ah. Test 
interesting. It's still just regular rain. Okay. Is where, how is that zombie wearing a sh Do you see what I see? That zombie is wearing a sh it's, Okay, I gotta get a better look, closer look at this. Look at that. I thought the only way to get a mob head on a mob was through a dispenser. He is wearing a stray head. Look at that. That is just too funny. Anymore. Oh, it looks like it's getting light out. Yep. Darn it. No skeleton. I mean, I was hoping for a normal skeleton, not a stray, to get that creeper. Speaking of creepers. Nope. No, don't blow up. I want to name you. I want to keep you. Because I'm hoping the snow will turn to rain. Ah, the name tag won't work because it's not, I don't have an official name on it. Let's play ring around the rosy. Oh, I don't have any dirt. No, don't blow up. This got me a whole lot of nowhere. Well, a lot of um, creeper holes and dirt placing later, I managed to grab a couple more, trap a couple more creepers. I actually have three creepers trapped here, all named, and then I have this guy here, also named. So, I mean, I know initially I built this thing to try and get the, the music disc to see if that sews the thing. But I figured, you know what, this would work so well for trying to grit the creeper head once there's a thunderstorm. So this way I've already got it all prepped. So we've got three creepers here and then this guy can be the exploding one that I can make into a, um, to a supercharged creeper. Because I can get a really good aim on him here, get him supercharged, and then um, release kind of get him over here near these guys, make him mad, have him explode, and then these all th three guys are all right in proximity. Hopefully it's enough to get three heads um, with one creeper, so we'll see. Um, Minpa has had a lot of experience dealing with charged creepers, exploding um, other mobs, so in theory this should work. Uh, just from like little things I've picked up from being around him in other Minecraft games, but yeah, we'll see. I might, I don't know, I don't know if I'm still going to try to get the music disc or not. This episode is now, what, two weeks behind, and between just not being able to finish that banner, which I, I'd really, I had my heart set on having that banner for my decorations, and between that and the holidays, I've been burning out of time, so I might have to just, I may have to give up on the banner temporarily um, and just put up the decorations because, you know, I feel bad that you few folks who watch have had to wait so long for an episode, so, um, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll see. Ugh. Things do not always go as planned. Yeah, you know, I might just do that. I might just forego the banner and just decorate and then if I can make the banner cool if not I'll just wait and I'll do it later but it's a th I'm going to get that creeper head I, it's now it's about the principle <laughs> if you're watching Hermitcraft you know what that's from <laughs> at this point it's now about the principle of the thing I'm gonna get a creeper head even if I can't use it <laughs> uh, all right well hopefully it'll thunderstorm soon Otherwise, I might just go over to spawn and start decorating the entrance to my shop, me and Mimpa's shop, and get that get that decorated for holidays, so that I can deliver. 
because it's getting close. I mean, I'm recording this tiny little blurb on December 8th. The holidays are coming up real fast, and these three little presents have to be delivered. So, I might just, uh, I might just wait, just do some decorating and hope that I can make the banner and show you folks before this episode goes live, but no promises. Just things sometimes just don't go as planned, and I did not realize how hard it was to get a creeper head in vanilla Minecraft. Holy cow, it's very difficult. So kudos to you if you've managed to do it in your uh, in your games. Uh, if you've had any stories about trying to do it, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious to hear what your experience with it has been. Um, you know, tactics that maybe have you've, you've tried that have worked. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm going to do some decorating over at spawn and I'll check back with you after I have a little bit more progress. So I've got my little spawn area decorated. There it is. There's the tree. So, as you see, I just took a giant spruce. Um, and then I had to add leaves to it, but... And put up a bunch of the little mini blocks and made some sparkle on it. And now it's nighttime, so you can see what it's going to look like all lit up with the end rods. So yeah, we just have to put the star on top. Now, <laughs> we had the problem with the teeny weeny little wussy star on our tree. Well, Mimpa came up with a great idea. So let's head home now that I've shown you this. And I'll show you what his idea was. Oh, before we do that. And I've got one, two, three packages here. And I suppose we can do that right now. So Happy Holidays, Lena Heels, Shatterskythe, and Fizzwitch. So there is a present for each of the three um, players on this on the small server right now. Um, Mimpa, it's from both Mimpa and I, so I'm not leaving a present for Mimpa because that's from the two of us. So now that we are home, let's go up into the kitchen, and I can show you what his idea was. Uh, I don't think we need that or not, but so. A gas tier, eye of ender. I don't remember if we need glass or not, but can you guess? Can you guess what it is? It's a beautiful idea. Kind of dangerous. Quite dangerous. Yep. There she be. Perfect star for on top of the tree. And I do need glass. The end crystal. One for both trees. <laughs> Final touch on the tree. All right, let's take care of that tiny poor. Oh, this looks like this looks really bad without my texture pack on. <laughs> Give me a second. That looks really bad. There we go. That's better. <laughs> There's our Christmas tree. <laughs> it does not look like the same tree. So anyway, let's take care of that little star and um, put our put a proper tr um, topper on. I need to get. Oh, where'd I put my scaffolding? Uh, I've got my scaffolding. Okay, so... Alright, so we can remove this. And remove this. Alright, now. <laughs> um... Oh, this is what we need the obsidian for. Alright, well, I want this end crystal to be centered on the tree. So let's, let's, tr let's try something here. Okay, there it is. Woo! Now, I obviously it's not centered, so we need to get it centered. All right, which means, let's try piston. So in theory, Alright, so in theory we put the piston up against that dirt block because this is where I put the crystal was there. So this is air and then it should extend out and push it there. I hope. Otherwise I'll die a very spectacular death. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. More dirt.
Okay, and the lever. And um, wish me luck. Okay, that worked. It's still not center. So let's reposition that piston one block closer. All right, so dirt, piston. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's try this. Ha, all right, look at that. Good enough. All right, let's see what it looks like from a distance. That'll do. That's a much better holiday tree. That's a much better star than that little tiny one. All right, now let's uh, let's go put that on the big tree. All right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad with the with the texture pack on. I thought it would look really like different, but actually that, that looks okay. That looks nice. And the oh my goodness, it looks so fit. I like it. This looks so nice with the texture pack on. And the presents look like proper presents. All right, tree topper. Let's get up there. All right, so we're at the top and I won't be able to center it though. Uh, well, I brought my piston with me. Obsidian, crystal, crystal. <laughs> break the obsidian. Okay. Woo! <laughs> That's the, uh, yes, Mimpa's very, uh, very amused by my pri my dilemma here. That's very kind of scary. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, the explosive power of these things. If you've never exploded one of these in your game before, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, piston will go there. All right, I got my piston, I got the lever. All right, got one, one push. Okay, let's do it again. All right. And that's actually pretty centered this way. So let's see if we can't center it a little bit more on the other direction. All right, piston, lever. Look at that. That is like perfectly centered. We did it. All right, now you take safely, take down all this stuff. All right, so now that it is up, let us see what, oh my goodness, look at that. That's lovely. That is beautiful. Happy holidays. Mm. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone who uh, celebrates any kind of holiday this month has a good one. I apologize, this video is so late. It, with the holidays, things are a little crazy. But there we go, we have a beautiful holiday tree here at Spawn with presents waiting for the other members to open up. And um, I will do a snippet of recording so that you can see what I gave them. And then I'll add that in my next episode. Um, but I don't want to spoil it because I think sometimes they watch these videos. So, <laughs> anyway, oh, look at that. That's wonderful. <gasps> Yay. All right. I'm going to head back home real quick. See you in a bit. I am back at home and we have our nice Christmas tree here and decorations and a fun texture pack for this episode. This was a lot, this was a lot of fun. So, uh, yeah, that's about all we have for today. This episode did not turn out anything like I expected at all. I mean, I totally had to give up on my banner pattern. Um, I will eventually give it. It's it's a wreath. Um, it's just it's one. It's my favorite banner pattern. I'm gonna keep trying to get those uh, that creeper head, and uh, we'll, we'll keep 
that will be it. We will do it. We will do it. Um, but anyway, I hope that you have a good holiday, whatever you celebrate. And um, from my little family to yours, happy holidays. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at the next episode. Bye!